In this lesson, we'll talk about line weights, line patterns, and line styles. So you'll notice a lot of times in our visibility graphics and in our object styles, it'll say line weight or line pattern or line style. So we go in here, we're going to see line pattern, line color, projection, line weight. Okay, so we can pick all of these off of here, but behind the scenes, they're being managed under here under manage. We have, um, it's called not views. It's actually over here under additional settings. Under settings, additional settings. We can go in here, we see line styles, line weights, line patterns. Okay. If you go to line styles, you're going to click on here and it's going to say, okay, these are the different line styles that you can use. This is the line style category, the line weight, the line color, and the line pattern. So later on when you're specifying thin lines, it's a line weight of one, that's black, it's a solid line. If you say I want a hidden line, it's a line weight of one, which is narrow, it's green, and it's dashed. Okay, You can pick different options in here. So this category of line style is referenced in other parts of Revit. So that's your line styles. Then we go to the next one, which is line weights. What this is, you know, when you look at it and it says line weight one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is what says how big those, how heavy those lines are. At a scale of one to 10 or one to 20, one to 30 here in metric, um, imperial would be different, but a um, little bit and one to 100, one to 200, instead of one eighth of an inch or one quarter inch, etc. So this is the pen number, and this is how many millimeters, a number two pen in a view that's at one to 10 is this line weight, okay? In a one to 100 floor plan, where it says the line weight is a four, it's 0.35 millimeters wide. So this is something you set up in your project template and you never really change it again. And by default, I find the line weights are too heavy. So I thin them out. The out of the box template files, et cetera, in Revit, you don't usually ever get above, you know, four or five or six or seven. You never ever use these, they're way too fat. Like this is a four millimeter wide line. That's a pretty wide line. So. Um, what I do is you go in here, you change them all once, you print it out, you check it, and then you save it in your project template file, and you never have to do it again. So this is the line weight, and this is how the line weight looks at this particular scale in millimeters. Okay, so that's our line weights. Then we have line patterns, okay, aligned, centered, dash, dash, dot, okay, these are line patterns. And then you can go and say you can make a new line pattern or you can edit that if you click on here and you say edit, it's going to say there's a dash and then there's a space and then there's a dash and there's a space. So dash, space, dash, space. So different custom line styles. You can create a new one or you can edit what's already there. If you look at the dot and you say edit, you can see a dot is basically a uh, uh, no value, it puts the dot in and then space, so space and then the dot, and it just repeats itself, okay? So these are our line patterns. So we're going to see line style, line weight, and line pattern referenced in other parts of Revit. And when you see that and you don't like it, this is where you have to come back and change it. So this kind of sits above and beyond um, the visibility graphics.